A few years ago, I saw stories floating around the internet about how an 8th grade graduation test from 1895 was so difficult that most adults today would not be able to pass it. These stories were essentially saying, we are all so dumb today, and they were all so smart back then, right? The exam took five hours to complete. This gives the saying, he only had an 8th eighth, eighth grade education a whole new meaning, doesn't it? The logic also being that my grandparents, who stopped going to school after the 8th grade, actually got more schooling than 8th graders today, those darn kids today. But hold on, let's take a look at this test. How difficult was it? Hey, look, it was supposedly for 8th graders in Salina, Kansas, not too far from where I live. You know what? I think I'm just gonna take this test. I'm a fairly smart guy. I have a couple bachelor's degrees and a master's degree. Yeah, I, well, for starters, I don't even know what orthography means. So that, that was- speech. Phonics? Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. figured something like that. Okay, so this test was definitely difficult. Uh, the fact that I felt surprised and relieved that I passed it with a 61%, that tells you a lot here. Looking at the test though, some of these questions, this is just a horrible test. Ask any teacher, it doesn't tell you how intelligent you are. It's just memorization of certain facts, many of which are useless. And sure, some of the questions on here are skills-based, but many of those skills are outdated and we have machines that do those skills now. Here's what I think about this test. Even if this was actually a legit 8th grade graduation test in 1895, it would not be proof that 8th graders back then were smarter than 8th graders now. In fact, I would argue the opposite. 8th graders today are much smarter than 8th graders back then. No offense. You gotta check, you gotta check yourself out. I still do that. <laughs> <laughs> I still do that. Well, you know, you gotta, it's like, okay, <sighs> go to any YouTube video, right? And if they're like up in the camera, yeah, look how much, like me, times they, they not they look to the side of the camera. Like, I'm looking at the side of the camera right now. I'm looking around myself in the viewfinder me all too. the time. I got a viewfinder down here, yeah, too. Yeah, I look at this one a lot. Ah, we gotta get a tan in here, man. We got, like, <laughs> gigantic light on the ceiling over here. The reflector, we got a light over there. Oh. Got the computer here. We got the TV there. We got the viewfinder there. We got a viewfinder here. That's back there. The light on the ceiling. Yep. My computer's on. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm looking at myself through all of them. <laughs> Every one of them. I can't help it. I don't know why. Ugh. I've, I've tried looking at the camera a little more here lately. I can't touch my hair anymore. My hairline's too high. What? I've tried. Look at the camera? Yeah, I still like looking at me though. I don't know why. It's, is that conceited? Dang. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. <laughs> 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 I have a couple bachelor's degrees and a master's degree. Okay, maybe that makes me not smart. But regardless, I think I can handle this thing, okay? Let's take a look at this. Yeah! I'm sure you'll be happy to know that I have notified your local draft boards and told them that you are now all, all eligible for military service.